Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. Previously I did a video where I'm showing you how I'm using my Samsung DAC setup to control the Ender Free Pro printer using Astro Print and the Octopi setup. But in this video we'll show the Android app which is called G-Code Printer which I found a couple of days ago. You can control 3D printer once you connect it directly with a the wire. There is an option to do a wireless but then again it requires the Raspberry Pi to be included into a setup but I've decided to go this way just to show you um, how the 3D printer can be controlled from Samsung Dex without spending extra money on the Raspberry Pi. So right now I have micro B to USB type A cable ready so I'm just gonna plug that into the printer and I'm just gonna plug in the other end into my Next doc too. I do have a message on the screen popping up saying open G code um, printer to handle USB serial. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. So right now it should work. So if I'm gonna click up, I'm gonna say yes, connect. Uh, it's just doing something. Let me wait for a second or so for this to work. It doesn't connect straight away. So you need to give a second or so to, uh, to work. It's a bit messy, uh, but once it's working, it's fine. So quickly go into your settings. Under communication, I need to make sure that I selected OUSB over OTG and I need to leave 115200 on here. This number I can find inside my print. So that's that. Under printer, inside the printer list, there is no Creality and the Free Pro inside this list. There is other Creality printers like a CR10, CR104S, CR105S and CR10 Mini, but there is no uh, Ender Free Pro. So that's why I'm choosing the other. That's that, and the general, I haven't changed anything, graphics haven't changed anything except communications, and the uh, printer settings. Obviously, bed size, I had to change and other things. So I'm controlling the bed movement using the, uh, the buttons inside the app. If I click Z up, as you can see, my, the Z axis going up. So let's say I want to uh, turn the fan on, and the fan here, the part cooling fan is turned on. If I other things you can do, start and stop print, this button is uh, load the G-code to the app, to SD card, if you have SD card connected into your ND3 Pro printer, or load from SD card, you can stop the mot mo uh, motors, so when you click on that, then I can freely move this, but if I'm going to initiate the move, now this one can be moved because the motors is on. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to start a quick print. So I'm going to go into load, and there's a G this file, CE3, so Creality and the Free Pro and this coin shopping trolley token. One thing uh, just to mention this app only works with the G code, it's not a slicer. So if you will upload a STL file or when you will try to upload a STL file, it's just gonna give you errors. You need to get yourself a slicer, something like Cura on Windows, or use Astro Print as a web a website, like a web a web software on the end. Uh, Samsung DeX and create your STL file in G code. What you can see here on the screen right now is moving around and it's creating this, if this uh, 3D print that I'm about to do. If I click on this, uh, I will get the 3D print image. I can't do any zoom in and out, but basically it just gives me a rough idea what it's gonna look like once it's done. What we're gonna do now, other settings, pretty much let's make quickly go through, about links, etc. printers, a lot of things like uh, I can set it up the speed, how the uh, the speed that the, the printing head moves around, the preset of the temperature, so it's 205 preset, and bed is set up at 60 temperature. You can control that, by the way, if you slide this uh, control panel out, you can control here. So if I'm going to move this all the way, I know it's going to be 60, so somewhere here. So right now it's set up to 56, and I can see on the printer, is increasing the temperature to 56. Same time, I can in increase the extruder to close as possible to 200. And right now, extruder is heating up as well. At the bottom right, I can see the printer head is right now at 45 of 70 now, and the printer uh, printer bed is 33 degrees, and it should climb up at 36 or so. This is says 36 here on the screen. This one doesn't update it yet, or oh, it's a bit behind. Right at the bottom, it just gives me an idea of where it is, how long it's gonna print, etc. And the G code here on the right, if I wanna investigate what's happening. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna press this button. The G code has been initiated. It's sending instructions to a printer that the printer bed needs to be at 60 degrees and printer head, I think needs to be at 205. So we're just gonna wait for a second or so uh, for the printer to start printing. So the heating up of the printer bed and the printing head finished. 
and right now as you can see the uh, axis uh, z axis moving down to the home position at the x y and z and once that's done the printing is going to start so mm -hmm. here you go i'm controlling or well, oh. set everything up with my samsung decks using this g code printer hundred uh, oh. program to get all the printing started and going through the one of the major downside about this kind of setup once i will connect or oh, sorry once i will disconnect the cable that goes between my next dock 2 and the printer so basically the physical connection will be terminated the printer will just stop at that position and not gonna move so once you start printing you basically need to have a device your dex device and the printer be connected uh, perm not permanently but during all printing process otherwise the printing will stop so if you're printing something that will take eight hours or so just you can't disconnect your Galaxy device from all this setup, otherwise it's just gonna stop printing. Printer uh, finished printing, and that's the device. One thing I do with once the printer is finished printing, bed plate um, is right now at 60 degrees or 59 degrees, so it's really, really hot. So what I do to quickly cool it down, obviously I can use uh, the hair blower just to uh, put some cold air over it, or use this, Mac Mini, it's all metal. So acts like a giant heatsink so i'm just gonna put that on here put that on top and in about 10-15 seconds all the heat be, will be transferred from the build plate this metal sheet into the mac mini and i will be able to take the part off on the screen i do have the um, information about the print so i it took me 15 minutes and two seconds i use 511 millimeters of filament which is not exact i need to do a, a very better fine tuning of the printer this is around 500 to 515 millimeters of filament you can use and it's only cost me five british pence there you go i can take it off so i'm just gonna oh it's actually oh jumped here we go build plate can go back on the printer and here we go and that's the uh, token that i just printed here you go that's another one so I have two now. In total, I printed about 20 of them now. Another thing I'd like to mention that once it's printing, you can't go into your settings, but once the printer is doing nothing, you just can't print, it press the options and carry on setting everything up under printer at the bottom. That's where I set up the uh, information about uh, my printer. So it's 1.75 millimeters filament I'm using. Uh, it's uh, currency in British pounds. Filament price is around 30, actually paid 22 pounds so i can change that so obviously the uh, price will decrease so it's going to be less than five pence to print one of them this is a g code printer android app that works with my samsung dex and i can control my 3d printer straight from dex like i said just one problem once it's printing and um, i can't disconnect because once i disconnect the printer will literally just shut down at that at that at that position and you can't do nothing about it g code uh, printer android app available on the google play store there is a free version and there is a paid version i'm using a paid version i can't remember the price i'll put the price on the screen now i can't remember how much i paid for it i think it's six pounds or something is it worth it i would say um yes if you're using samsung dex and you need some sort of the app to control 3d printer and you don't have any other options you don't have access to a uh, old windows machine to install cura and etc you don't want to go and spend but right now uh, raspberry pi 4 costs like 50 60 british pounds where it used to be like 20 25 or 30 pounds so that's it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye